Hey, what's up, San Juan? Steve Buda taking a culinary tour to the great city of New York, a hole in the wall of the Michelin stars. Hey, what's quick, tasty, lip smacking good, and crunchy? What am I tacoing about? Tacos, baby, that's right. I'm searching today for the best tacos in New York City. Are you guys behind me? Do they have it? Feed us crunchy tacos? Stick around, check it out. The Birria Taco. You've got to have this taco. They take a tortilla, dip it in consomme, slap it on the grill, layer it up with meat that's been cooked for eight hours, put some cilantro onions and two types of cheese, Monterey Jack and cheddar. Man, this is great. And they use consomme. This thing is a crack. Dip it in there. Man, this is what I'm tacoing about. Are these guys behind me? Peter's Red, Red Crunchy Tacos, we're bringing it. This is the queso birria. Check out how they make it. It's just a mouthful of deliciousness. They dip it in the consomme, layer it up with a slow cooked meat, then top it off with two types of cheeses, cilantro and onions. This is so, so good. What's in there? Cilantro? Cilantro, red onion. Birria tacos. These are some of the most authentic birria tacos that New York City will ever try, man. Birria is uh is the name of the of the stew of the broth. Yeah. Is the name of it. Birria is uh is basically it's a traditional dish from uh, Tijuana. It's usually the taco and the quesadilla and the torta, all that stuff it doesn't really exist out there. It's very it's very known for the tortilla, yeah. the crispy tortilla. And uh, the soup itself, it's actually a morning thing. It's a morning thing, but in, um, in this country, it's a, it's a tonight thing somehow. <laughs> but birria <laughs> basically is a, is a morning thing. When you're hungover, people love it. Mexican people love that stuff when, you know, like you're tired or something. Orange juice. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let me tell you guys something. If the, if the tortilla is not crunchy, it's not real birria. <laughs> These, these right here, crunchy, juicy, and the cheese we use is very different. We use Monterey Jack cheese and cheddar cheese. Most people only use uh, mozzarella cheese and we decide to do it uh, a little different. This taco truck comes from, uh, from Mexico. My father, my cousin and I, my cousin Jimmy, I'm Peter. Um, we, um, we brought it over from Mexico with uh, so the, the, the marinating the meat is basically uh, when, when it's cooking, when it's cooking, that's how it gets marinated with all the with all the ingredients and everything inside. It's okay. like kind of meat we use. It has to be has mostly has to be bones, bones part of the bones, the ribs, and you know the the, the bones have a little taste. So the all all the, the bones have. We we like to use a uh, good meat. 
we just we try to use the the rib and like the just the the centerpiece of the of the cow. So basically, the red the redness of it is um is basically the sauce from it. The the last part of it that comes out that's the that's what we try to use for it. That's how it gets crispy and that's how it maintains its uh its form. So what what's your favorite taco on the menu? Definitely. Uh, for me, for me, for me, I think it's the best, but for me it's the torta, because the torta, when I, I, I'm hungry, man, I want torta. I, I want torta, and I eat quesadillas, when I, I want to just snack, it's not quesadilla on it. Yeah. So it's from, it's from Tijuana, the torta? Uh, no, the, the torta, he, this is the guy who, who made it, who, who say, okay, yeah. let's try the torta, yeah. He, torta is, a, is basically like a sandwich, but yeah. a Mexican sandwich. Okay. The only difference, which is really big is that usually tortas come with uh, avocados, so onions, lettuce, and um, mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Our tortas only come with the meat itself. Uh, the crunchiness from the tortillas is the same crunchiness that comes on the, on the bread. So it's basically the meat, cilantro, and um, onions. And, base, and cheese if you want to add cheese onto it. It's, uh, it's very simple, but it's uh, crazy tasty, yeah, man. Which, which, different. Which one's your most uh, popular one? Um, we have seen those quesadillas, right? Quesadilla, the quesadilla, the quesadilla is the most popular. We have a couple, a couple spots that we enjoy going to a lot. Yeah, yeah, we I'll, come from, um, uh, you yeah. know, the best tacos al pastor also is one in the 187 Irving Avenue. The 187, 187 Avenue, Irving Avenue is a, a spot called uh, Santana uh, Restaurant and Santana Deli. Yo, I am, they made the best taquitos al pastor. So we also we, we come we come from a family that all 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 have restaurants, you know. We we all work work on some restaurants so we know also about Barbacoa, we know also about uh, Mole Poblano. So this is something different for us too because we we, we never I, I for myself we never tasted before birria. When when the birria told me when Billy told me about birria I said, wow this is cool, this is a good idea man. <laughs> yeah. So I'm with you, I go with it too. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, yeah, man. let's uh, run together, man. Um, well, hopefully we can we can uh, we can expand a little, you know. Right now times are tough, you know. This whole coronavirus situation is a little it's a little hectic, but people are good and people are really supportive and our taste is really good. So um, hopefully New York will see a lot more of us. Like my cousin said, uh, we come from a family of uh, of restaurant business and bars. So basically, this stew right here, this ingredient, I prep it in, in, uh, in, in our restaurants. It's, it's, everything is made in our restaurants. The same ingredients that our, our restaurants have is this one right here. The same exact one. It never changes. Basically, the, the house of the birria. Uh -huh. The house of the birria is from like Tres Potrellos and El Gallo Negro. Uh -huh. That's how we, we just have experience in it and it's uh it's just we put our all into in, into our dishes and we just try to perfect it for everybody. Every every day we try to, to make better, better, better. You know? mm -hmm. Like uh, if we don't see it's not crunchy, we don't we don't serve it. We say no no wait. Like I am I'm all the time here and I say if it's not crunchy, don't serve it. That's it. Every time you touch the, the taco and it's not crispy, please come back and show us and we're gonna give you one order another order or an extra because we want to give the best the best we don't want to give you something that also like. the reason why we say that is because it just it just will never happen whenever you come to peter's crunchy red tacos you're gonna expect peter's crunchy red tacos they're gonna be crunchy and red <laughs> and hella good <laughs> Hey, it's NYC Buddha, and thanks for joining my channel today. Hope you liked what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications.